In this lecture, we are going to learn about what is known as copy constructor. So a copy constructor is a kind of advanced feature of C++ class where a copy constructor is a special constructor for a class or a structure. And what it is used for? That is used to make a copy of an existing instance of a class. So you already have some object or an instance of a class and you want to copy from it and make an object that is exactly the same. So C++ provides you one easy method out. It provides you the copy constructors. And according to C++ standard, the copy constructor, how will you make? So you need to define a constructor. Okay, so again, for a constructor, you should have the, if your class is my class, so your constructor should have the same name, the copy constructor also. And because we are copying from a, one instance of the class so we will take it in the argument so you can have my class we can take the reference other let's say other is the reference so const my class ampersand other so it means that i'm taking the reference to that other object which i want to copy okay but we are taking a const so that i cannot change that particular object which I'm copying. So you can take a my class ampersand other to so take a reference to it. Here you might change it, but this is also fine. My class volatile const my class ampersand other. And the last one is you can again not take the const of the reference. So this is the basic idea for your copy constructor. So basically if one object is there, I just want to copy that object. So now let's try to see what is there in the default copy constructor. Okay. So default copy constructor you have, for example, let's take, so we have a class, my class, where we have three different parameters, int x, character c, and a string s is there. Okay. So what happens if you don't write a copy constructor? Then also one copy constructor is default copy constructor is made where const my class reference is taken and you just do a shallow copy. So x your x becomes equal to rhs.x, c becomes equal to rhs.c and your string becomes equal to rhs.s. So what's now the difference between big deal about deep copy and shallow copy so basically shallow copy whatever was happening initially this was shallow copy we were just trying to copy the values but let's say there is a pointer okay so now what happens in case of pointer so let's try to see that thing so we want something so just a second so we want is that let's see so we have some pointer in our class okay so that pointer will now be pointing to some object let's say our class has one pointer int star p int okay now this pointer to integer is pointing somewhere at some memory location okay which is 1005 and the value stored is 5 in that memory location now, if I do a shallow copy, the new in the new class also the constructed class, it will also be pointing to the memory location 1005. Now, what you do if you if somehow the first pointer, the first class instance, the object is deleted, so your class, the copied class pointer, will become dangling. Okay. So in that case, we want that, okay, the value that was there in this pointer location should be copied instead of just pointing that object to where your p int for the original class was pointing to. So we would like to check it all using some piece of code. Let's see. So I have a simple line class which has just got a parameter length. Okay, what is the length? And we have made it as a pointer okay 
so let's see so if it's your length so set length and get length are the methods then we have one constructor simple constructor it takes length another one is the copy constructor we have a destructor so what happens in simple constructor so there is a pointer so of course when you initialize so i allocate memory for the int and then the value is copied into star p length this is fine this works fine how you write a copy constructor so it means we will have one object from where we want to copy we pass it as an argument so rhs so we take a const reference of that so now what happens is so here is your p length again because now what happens p length is equal to new int and then so it is allocated that pointer for that we allocate a new space and there we put the same value as that was there in the original object so we will just try to look at it let's say this is your memory okay so in this memory so what happens is this is 1000 and somewhere below it is 1015. So let's say in your original class, so your p int in your original instance was pointing to 1000 memory location where its value was 7. Now I want, so this is your RHS object. Now what I want, I say that if you write this line what will happen one thing is i could have directly done p length let's say some mem we are just directly doing p length the pointer to length is equal to rhs dot p length okay so we could have done this then what would have happened is your p length here it would have for this class also for your class this dot p length would have also pointed to 1000 now let's say your rhs object was deleted so what will happen this memory will become dangling and hence anything can happen to your code it's corrupted but what here we do to remove that problem we make p length equal to new end okay so this means now my class this dot p length is assigned let's say 1015 or some other memory location and then we do the value of p length is now we are copying the value that was stored in the thousand memory location that was of rhs dot p int this whole star so here again 7 is copied so now what happens even if your rhs object is deleted goes out of scope then also this will remain intact so this is the importance and basically this is the deep copy so in deep copying what you do for pointer objects whatever is the value so we allocate new memory for the pointers and copy whatever value was stored there so this is important shallow shallow copy and this one is deep copy okay so this is there one thing important to note down and then let's look further so we have simple destructor one is get length now you are displaying also so we display a line object so let's see so main so we have line one line we construct with the length 10 how we call the copy constructor so one method is I make line 2 and I am just copying it based on line okay so line is given as an argument this will become RHS and it will be copied into line 2 so this line will now be this RHS and it will be copied so let's try to see this code so we build this code and let's try to see so normal constructor allocating P length okay so this was called for the line object line line 2 for that copy constructor is getting called then finally we are going out of scope so freeing memory for both of them okay so this is happening now if we want to just check so are the memory locations different for both of them 
so display okay so what can we do is that we write one method here itself okay so display void display okay so display and what we do here is just display the c out and we will write p length okay so if we do this and then of course we should put an l so to give one line so this is one display method it should work even though we have one outside display so let's do something so if you have line dot display and then we have line two dot display so both of them works and let's try to see are the memory locations different so we will look here and we find that we are first calling line dot display its memory location is 3c1708 but for line 2 dot display it's 3c1770 so they are in fact different okay but as we said that if you just do a shallow copy so what was the thing that was happening in shallow copy here what we do is that instead of this we will just make another constructor here i will copy this code and let's try to see so line const line rhs so we will not allocate this memory p length is equal to your rhs dot p length okay so this is now pointing to the same and uh, we should just so now we have a shallow copy so this is one example of shallow copy so here both of them are pointing to the same so in fact i should remove this p length is rhs dot p length let's try to build this and just see it so we have now both of them are now trying to access the same okay they are at the same memory locations okay so this if somehow you delete the first object then there will be problem for line 2 so this is the idea of copy constructor so in nutshell we learnt about copy constructor about shallow copying and about deep copying and the importance of deep copying so i hope you understand this thanks a lot